Hello and welcome back to Cobra Park Farm. It's back in 1969 again. Yesterday in game we did some stubble burning over there and uh, a bit of cultivating due to the weather being bad and looked after the animals. Today we are back and uh, working with the combine. Now then that's now yeah, going to be the last split in here I think. So now I'll go down here. this last split out and get the rape up and then hopefully we will be ready for the silage harvest. We will have a couple of tractors carting because it's a fair way to the yard so uh, we could be stood a little bit while we wait for the tractors to come back, but uh, we'll do the best job we can with it. Hopefully the trailers will be able to push it up somehow decent for us. If not, we'll put a bucket on and drag it level afterwards as long as we get into the as long as we get into the heap and tipping that's the main part of it. Of course play can do it with it being a back in part of it. We shall see. Get the rape dried nicely for today. Good. Get this out today, so when you join us back in the live stream tonight, we will be on the next day, and we shall be on the maize harvest. Put the maize harvest on the 4,000 and the 5,000 in the John Deere on the trailer. we should be able to get all of the maize harvested nicely. May have to put it on to sure I have to go on to uh, follow me or whether course play can run at the side of the silage machine. We shall see. For now this Massey Ferguson, which took over from the New Holland. We did have one day with an old iron tractor, well, combine, not tractor. Whilst we were waiting for the uh, insurance company to do their checks to make sure that everything was above board which it turned out it was, they gave us the money and uh, we got this Master Ferguson combine to replace the New Holland. Didn't really fancy a New Holland again after the trouble of it catching fire. I think it's the fact that it was struggling on the hills that uh, hopefully once again we're back to Well, take this away. 
decides to do, whether he's going to wait for a little bit of RSA break or whether he's going to go and tip it. Taking it to the yard, that's good. So yeah, this combine what bit we've used it so far, I and mean, it's only done this field of RC drape and just finished it. Barley peeled off, but uh, didn't really want to be getting swapping combines mid-season, but we ended up with three combines doing the job. Started off with a new oil in the port fire. Then we went to the Russian thing what they lent us until they looked into the insurance claim and fire brigade doing their checks to find the cause of the fire. And then on to this Mustberg 620. This will now hopefully last us a year or two swapping combines out every year. It seems to run well. It really works well this Nancy Ferguson. It's a nice little combine. And, uh, soon be time to give it a wash and put it into the shed for the winter. It is working a treat, it's really a nice, nice harvester. It does a great job. Not the biggest well, cook, it doesn't cook quite as much as the New Holland, but uh, with the fact it's coping with the field better, it's actually harvesting quicker than what the New Holland did. And uh, hopefully we'll find out next year when we get on a bit of a slope with it. The last two fields we've done with it, it hasn't been very slopey. Hopefully it will work as well once we do get down to there. He's back in the field, so Dean uh, and emptied his load and come back to us. And as soon as we get to forty. 49% of the 50% who were led towards us. I think all the oil seed rate we have left should fit into the trailer. I'm sure the combine is dirty in any way whatsoever. It's just looking a bit dull. That's a combine that's animated parts to it. So, uh, Lovely, lovely boy. Yeah, cutting our seed rape nicely. So uh, if you cut our seed rape, it will go through anything. I'd have thought it's a pretty tough crop to to harvest. Would be nice if we've got some of these vehicles in Farming Simulator 19 before too long. The beauty of Farming Simulator 19 combines, the knives are jagging backwards and forwards to actually cut the crop. Things like on here, this one isn't actually, knives aren't moving, you don't really notice it, but little things like that make all the difference, especially when, like me, you can back back down, you're used to seeing them jiggling backwards and forwards. We will finish this RC rate and then 
that will be the end of the video, whether it's 10 minutes long or an hour long, you want to finish the RC brake within this video, so uh, things go. busy day's work to get this out, it's not the biggest of fields, but not the smallest of fields, so it took a while getting it took out, it's, uh, it's working pretty well, I think field 8 will be split between potato, sugar beet and maize. So, uh, is our tractor coming? Yes, it's coming. So, uh, tractor is a coming, so uh, we will get to this end and turn, and we can then run to his way round to where we want him. Oh, he's almost here, I think. almost here so we shall drop into reverse and just back over him. Tank is almost full so we won't come under us. So I don't know why in the live stream he was coming under us but in this we come under us. Rocking back a little on the brakes. And he thinks he's in traffic out. I don't know why sometimes it does that. Worry, the cart's gone away, he's saving his time, so here we go. Spin ourselves around and do the last of these. Yeah. You give up your time to pop in and have a look and send a message and don't get a reply, it's not very nice really, so uh, big apologies on that one. This couple of breeds here, we're just going to back up and we should take that breed there out, back up and bring the next one out. breed and this breed out and then the rows start to get a bit longer so they're worth digging into. All of this RC rape is going to go into his trailer when he goes back to the yard he will be finishing the rape seed harvest off. Not whether anyone's tried Doing a solid job, solid to switch you back into with course play. You probably know that I'm lining myself up to fail if you've tried it and it doesn't work, so uh, I don't mind setting myself up for a failure. It's uh, well worth giving it a try to speed up that harvest. Potatoes and sugar beet are going to be pretty much the same. Sugar beet is going to be dumped on the ground in the corner of the field, so that would be one trailer working. For potatoes, they are coming to the main yard. So it's not far to come. Hopefully the potato equipment we've got will work okay. And Not the equipment that you need for 60s, what is available other than 
team and uh, we have got in game. We shall try and run it as best we can. Get into the probably the late 70s, then the Grimmy Harvester could come in, but uh, not going to get into the late 70s with this series. It's MBFS 19 time, still undecided whether to continue with this classic series for a while but, uh, for the next week at least it is going to be two videos a day and the live streams so uh, might be able to get drilled up and started the following season and Probably even get into the next season's harvest, we don't know. It's, uh, this field is coming to us now. Just a couple of more breeds left to do. seed rate will be up. It's a biggish field. We've not been too long getting through it for the age of equipment we're using. The harvest has gone pretty well, I would have to say. I mean, it's not the bulkiest of crops, but uh, so we've got one breed up here now, hopefully. take all of this in and hopefully he will go there's some little bits there that's missed so we will spin ourselves around and go and pick those up every bushel counts and, uh, like, uh, give us a share, as I've said many times, not only helps my channel, also helps the modders of these beautiful mods that we've used throughout Palmer Simulator 17. Since I started streaming especially, I've been using lots of mods. Only started in January this year, so... Uh, if you are new to some of our mistakes and you'd like to see more of the work that we do here, then please subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification icon that will tell you when we upload these videos, when we do our live streams. Until next time, thank you for watching. Uh, goodbye for now.